Hi subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, it's time to start talking about XML parsing with the help of the first parser which we discussed in the previous video which was DOM parser based on the document object model of an XML file. So let's get started. For DOM parsing, what we have is something like this. You have an XML document which is given to something called a document builder. Now this document builder is created with the help of document builder factory. Now what you have is that this object is going to create a tree which looks just like this. Each box in this tree is what you call as a node over here. The root node is called the document node. So a set of node objects is what your XML file becomes at this point. Now if you notice branch over here has children 1, 2, 3, trunk over here has children but leaf 1 has no child so some nodes have children the others don't have any child now let's take a look at this step further now if there are any errors they need to be handled by something called an error handler which you have to define in your code and we will take a look at how to define that ultimately out of this DOM tree you use certain methods and you get the data out of it and we will be talking about an example of how to use all this and how to understand this process and try to make an XML document get its data so let's go further so the classes that you want to do work with are inside the org.w3c.dom package XML parsing classes are inside the Java java.x.xml.parsers package out there other than that you will be using certain classes like sax exception and sax parse exception from the org.xml.sax package now here is one important tip now if you notice this package org.xml.sax in our previous video we mentioned that this is the second technique using the sax parser and still you guys are looking at some of the classes from the second technique being used inside our first technique and that is because of reusability because we want to make sure that we don't write code again and again so further let's go and take a look at the steps step one create a DOM parser factory now this factory Let's take a look at that. Use the factory to create a DOM parser object. Ultimately use the DOM parser to parse the XML document, create a tree structure just like the diagram we saw and of course manipulate the tree structure using the DOM tree. Now let's take a look at this in further detail. Now for the DOM parser is implemented with the help of this object called document builder in Java. In other words, the document builder class implements the DOM parser. So you're supposed to create an object of this class and you're supposed to work with it. The document builder will create an in memory structure of your XML document inside your primary memory or RAM when you try to parse the XML document. Now remember, this document builder object cannot be instantiated directly. In other words, this follows a pattern in Java called singleton pattern. In other words, you can only create one object of this so that you can work with it so you need a factory object which is called document builder factory and you will use a static method called new instance on that to create a new document builder factory now this is gonna create a document builder so go further you create the document builder by saying new document builder on the factory object which you created above so it is like two steps first you create a factory then using the factory you create a document builder that's how it works again if you don't understand everything about this don't worry very shortly we're gonna take a look at code so further going further let's take a look at the code now first step create a document builder factory by saying document builder factory is builder factory dot new instance notice the static method here no constructors no new keyword nothing this is a static method being called to get you a single object of document builder factory use that factory object and create a document builder by saying factory dot new document builder again Notice no constructors, no new keyword, directly a single object of document builder being given to you guys. Now you need to set an error handler like we discussed if there are some errors in your XML document because it's not properly formed, some tags are not working or if the DTD, if the document is not in accordance with the DTD or schema, then what you need is an error handler object which is made by something like this error handler implementation is new error handler implementation so what is this error handler implementation let's take a look at that and of course you need to set the error handler by saying document builder dot set error handler so let's take a look at how to handle errors if you want to handle errors during parsing you define a class that 
implements the error handler interface in other words this is your error handler implementation which ex implements your interface error handler it has some method like error where you write some code for doing what you need to do when there is an error fatal error how will you handle that and then of course there's a warning how will you handle that inside your application so you gotta write code inside these methods to determine what to do when there's an error or when there's a fatal error or when there's a warning so at this point we probably terminate because this is already going above your head considering the amount of complexity in the next video we need to further divide and talk about the DOM APIs before we can start working with our examples in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide note and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day